Congratulations. You have selected the industry leader of electronic scanning for detecting and locating breaches in roofing and waterproofing membranes. We want the test scanning of your project to be successful. The substrate directly under the membrane must be conductive. Clients should provide plan view drawings of the total areas to be scanned. Fluid applied membranes must be cured and not tacky to the touch in order to be tested. Follow manufacturer's instructions for proper cure times. The client's site contact must be available to meet with a DTEC field technician at the area to be tested. The surface temperature of the membrane being tested must be above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius. Do not perform test scanning during moderate to heavy rain events. A continual water supply from an operational hose bin, industrial concrete sprayer, or Hudson sprayer must be available on site. For test scanning of vertical surfaces, a five gallon bucket of clean water will be required. Brooms and handheld blowers should be available to help dry areas that have been flooded. Membranes to be scanned must be broom clean and free of construction materials and debris. An adequate ground must be available at the test site location. This could be structural steel, electrical conduit, embedded rebar, anchors, penetrations, or exposed concrete. The test area must comply with all OSHA safety standards. Safety barriers and fall protection equipment should be provided. Construction activity in and around the test area must not be hazardous to the field technician. Areas with electrical arc flash hazards, such as electrical mechanical rooms, must have a certified technician perform the scanning. Before the day of the test scanning, a DTEC representative will call a designated site contact to identify what parking is available on site. Elevators and other site logistics will be assessed. The day of test scanning, a DTEC field technician will meet with the site contact to do a walkthrough of the test area. The client will provide assistance in wetting down the test area, as well as drying the areas that have been flooded. All field technicians will attempt to adhere to ASTM D8231 and ASTM D7877 test standards. Any deviation from these ASTM standards must be noted in the final report. A daily field report will be generated after testing is completed. The report will then be sent to the email address provided by the client. For optimum results, the test scanning should be performed just after the membrane is applied. It is recommended that all equipment and materials needed for repairs be available the day of testing. Installation of drain mats, insulation, or overburden should be performed immediately after test scanning is completed to avoid trade damage by others. Thank you for choosing DTEC systems for your site testing. We look forward to working with you.